Sell your house in seven seconds. Can it be done? Well, that's how fast first impressions are made in seven seconds. And I've looked at numerous studies and reports, and they all say the same thing, that people, well, in this case, prospective buyers, they make up their mind in seconds on whether they like your house or not. So in this video, we'll dive into how to make a great first impression and seven practical tips to sell your house fast. And all these tips make a real difference. So make sure you stay till the end to tip number seven, especially if you want to sell your house quickly. And something to keep in mind is that there are three critical phases on winning buyers and getting them to love your house and actually put an offer in your hand. So the first phase of winning them over is called online appeal. Your property has to stand out and be so irresistible compared to the other houses that these buyers want to get in their car drive over to your house and see it in person. Which leads us to practical tip number one on how to make a great first impression and sell your house fast at the same time, which is price. And more specifically, pricing your home competitively. I know you've heard this before, you're gonna hear it again, but price is the most important factor when it comes to selling your house. And pricing competitively is the key especially if you want a quick sale. And unfortunately, this number is not based on what you wanna sell the house for, but it's based on what buyers are willing to pay in the market. Hey, real quick, my name's Jay Lee Duffy and I'm in San Diego County. And if you find any value in this video, I would love it if you hit the like button, subscribe so you're notified of more helpful videos. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Okay. Back to the video. And this price is based on a number of factors. The number of homes currently for sale in your area, how quickly they have been selling. Are they generally selling at least price? Are they selling over list price? Are they selling under list price? The condition of your home, upgrades, how many buyers are in the market, mortgage rates, inflation, the economy, you get the picture. So there are a lot of factors that go into pricing your home competitively. And the buyers are gonna see the price before anything else and whether it falls within their budget and if they can afford your house. And if it doesn't fall within this price range, they're not gonna come and take a look. Obviously, if the price is too high and buyers know that because on average buyers see between nine and 12 homes while they're looking for a house. So they are gonna know if your house is overpriced. I've got a whole other video specifically on how to price your home correctly right here. So if you wanna check that out. For the sellers that I work with, we work out a competitive price and it nearly always results in the home selling very quickly and for the highest price possible. Because if a house is overpriced, chances are that it'll sit on the market and the longer it sits on the market, the less money you'll get on average. So talk to an experienced realtor who will work out what a competitive price is for your home. Now moving on to having an irresistible online appeal is professional photos. Professional photos are so important to catch the eye of the buyer who is scrolling through dozens and dozens of homes and making them stop so that they take a look at your home and then eventually read the description and wanna come take a look in person. According to a Redfin study, homes with professional photos sell for on average $11,000 more than homes that didn't. And they also sell 15 days faster than other homes that don't have professional photos. So once you get past the hurdle of phase one of online appeal and you've won over that buyer or you've kind of intrigued them to possibly come and take a look at your house in person. Phase two is curb appeal, which also brings us to practical tip number three, curb appeal. And I'm sure you've heard this a million times, but first impressions are crucial. Again, buyers will make up their minds what they think about your house in seven seconds on whether your place gives them a good first impression or a bad one. And you definitely don't wanna fall into this bad category. Is there anything visually unappealing? Is your lawn unkept? Are your bushes not trimmed? Are there leaves hanging around? Are there big cracks in your pavement? Are there weeds growing everywhere? Is there patchiness in your lawn? 
And also think about your mailbox. Has your mailbox seen better days? Maybe think about replacing it. It would probably make a really good first impression if you see a really shiny new mailbox. And try walking up to your house with fresh eyes. Pretend that you're a buyer that's never been to your house. They don't know you. What would they think? What, do you, what would you think? And if your buyer has a positive first impression, they will look for other clues to kind of back up this first hunch. So this is actually called the halo effect. This could mean a beautifully landscaped garden creates a positive halo that influences the rest of the perception of your property. And obviously the opposite is true too. If they have a bad first impression, they're going to be looking for other clues that solidify this first hunch. Now moving on to phase three of winning over buyers is entryway appeal. So they're just about to walk up to your front door. They probably take a good look around. Are there any cobwebs? Is the paint peeling on your door? Is it a nice kind of fresh, solid front door? If your front door isn't in great condition, think about replacing it. Or if not, think about painting it. Painting a door can have really good return on the value of your house. A Zillow study said that slate blue is a really good color and you would possibly increase your home's value by $1,500. But the highest payout, I'm not sure if you would know this, but the color to go for, if this works with the aesthetic of your house, is a black door. Black doors, they say, on average, according to the Zillow study, said that you would increase your home value by $6,000. It's possible to turn off some buyers with a black door that think it's not inviting, it's imposing, but if you are game for it, maybe consider painting your front door black. It might just pay off. And so they're just about to walk into your house. So you've just come through the front door and one of the biggest impressions isn't through our eyes, but it's through our nose. Moving on to practical tip number five is pleasant smells. The sense of smell is your secret weapon that can subconsciously help buyers fall in love with your house. And scientifically, a sense of smell can evoke positive feelings. It can put people at ease. And it also is a very strong indicator of evoking memories, both good and bad. Good smells can positively affect the way buyers feel, but then also bad smells can have a negative effect too. So make sure that your house doesn't smell of mold, sewage, any pet smells that could turn off people to your home, no matter how nice it is. Scents that can help sell your house are ones that are clean and kind of fresh evoking. So lemons is always a good one. You could actually put a big bowl of lemons out in your kitchen. Also ocean scents or fresh linen. Also jasmine is kind of calming. And also vanilla has that warmth kind of coziness feel to it. Moving on to practical tip number six is to clean and to personalize. A clean home is an inviting home, so make sure to clean every nook and cranny in your home for a quick sale. This includes carpets, windows, and even those overlooked areas such as baseboards and light fixtures. Consider hiring a professional cleaner if it's a really big job and you're feeling a little overwhelmed. And when it comes to depersonalizing, take away all those family photos and personal memorabilia that is special to you. You want potential buyers to envision themselves in your home, not have a big snoop around on the last time you went to Disneyland. Depersonalizing your home helps create a blank canvas so buyers can really imagine their future in your home. Consider storing personal items temporarily in the garage or even possibly off-site and make sure to opt for neutral tones throughout the house to appeal to a broader audience. And the last tip for creating a great first impression and selling your home fast is making the kitchen shine. In a recent study, 80% of buyers listed the kitchen as the most important room in the house. If a kitchen is modern and updated, it not only increases the property value, but also increases its desirability. 
buyers love a beautiful kitchen. So do as much as you can, depending on your budget and time. A light remodel would be changing out the hardware, painting the cabinets, maybe changing the backsplash. But if you can't, then at least declutter your inside your cabinets, make sure everything is squeaky clean, and also open up your fridge because all buyers love to open up fridges and make sure it's all neat and tidy and any old expired food is definitely thrown out. And, and if your budget will allow, consider upgrading some of your appliances in your kitchen. So there you have it, seven practical tips to make a great first impression and sell your home fast. And remember there are three phases to make a great first impression, which is the first one, which is online appeal. The second one is curb appeal. And the third one is your entryway appeal. And if you like this video, I also have a free download on seven tips for a fast sale. So click the link in the description below and you can just download that. And also if you like this video or found any value in it, please hit the like button, subscribe so you are notified the next time a helpful video is uploaded. And thank you for watching.